Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie. My name is Dr. Christie Reisinger, and today we're going to discuss why there's less flu in the summer. Well, every fall in the United States, we can predict that we're going to start having more flu, and that flu will pretty much linger throughout the spring. However, once we reach summer, we don't see as much flu. Why is that? Well, I wish I had one slam dunk theory to give you guys, but instead I have four variable theories and each one has some interesting parts. The first theory is that we're simply indoors more with closed windows and around each other more during the winter months. I also personally think that because our noses tend to run more during the winter season, that that can serve as a vector meaning that you blow your nose, you wipe your nose, you put down a Kleenex, and you touch each other's hands, and then you touch your face, and then you can contract influenza that way. That just tells us that it's very important, once again, to remember to wash your hands. The second theory is that during the winter months, we produce less natural vitamin D and also less melatonin because we have less exposure to the sun because the days are shorter. And because we have less vitamin D and less melatonin in our systems, our immunity is less. And because our immunity is less, we have less resistance to viruses like influenza. One particular study showed that people that were exposed to influenza in the summer did not contract symptoms as frequently as when people were exposed to it during the winter time. This may also be another indication that our immunity just tends to be lower during the winter months. A third theory is that it's simply stressful for our body to keep ourselves warm during the winter months. This in turn stresses our immunity and lowers our immunity and causes us to be more susceptible to infection. Remember how your mom always warned you to wear a coat when you went outside during the winter months? There may be some validity to that after all. The fourth and final theory states that the virus can survive longer in colder, drier climates in the temperate regions of the world. Most of the United States is considered a temperate region. However, one interesting data point is that in the tropical areas of the world, the opposite is true. We see more influenza during the humid, rainy months of the year. We can predict that in temperate climates around the world, one month after the lowest humidity, we'll see more flu because this tends to coincide when the, with the coldest months of the year. However, in the tropical areas of the world, we can predict that increased influenza will occur with the rainy season. We just don't understand why one virus can behave so differently in different temperatures. The reason why I thought I'd bring this up now is because of our current situation. I'm so hopeful that our current situation will dissipate during the summer months. And I thought I would compare it to a virus that we know very, very well, like influenza. We'll just have to wait and see to know what's going to pan out. In the past, influenza at least tends to dissipate or be less common during the summer months. Thanks again for joining me.